to <laughs> took you out on Valentine's of You're shouting stage. at someone. <laughs> I am shouting. But anyway, um, I hope things are well for you. We have a great show lineup for you on matters of health and entrepreneurship. And I'm so excited on what Sakwa has for us in this, you know, banter that we are about to have. Uh, yeah. My name is Stephanie Ayeta. You can get me on that particular name also on my social media handles. And just a reminder, at Y254 channel is where you interact with us. And we're going to ask you the question of the day in not too long. So make sure you hop in. Yes. Sakwa. All right, uh, back to me, Sausama. But before we get too far, like Stephanie said, we have an amazing lineup of programming. Today we also have Tuesday Health, including entrepreneurship as well. So mm -hmm. stick around for amazing mm -hmm. uh, programming in just a bit. But before we get to, before we talk about who else is making headlines for good and bad reasons, yeah. I just like uh, <laughs> us to talk a little bit on matters mental health. And uh, today being Tuesday, uh, Tuesday mental health, also being Tuesday entrepreneurship. Uh -huh. uh, I'd really like to know, like, how do you guys, you know, stay mentally afloat? In as much as you know, you know, you're interacting with a lot of people, you're exchanging energies. We are young, of course, but then you have to stay afloat when it comes to, you know, having a mental balance. And uh, we understand mental well-being is a state of like being emotionally well. Mm -hmm. mentally okay not just even personally socially as well including with other people so i'd really like to know like how do you stay mentally i like how software is just like can, can i slide it back to stairs <laughs> as, a, as a regroup uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll take the first one so how do i stay mentally afloat um i've never really thought about it but this is what i i do or I try to do i take in what i can handle you know because there are many situations where you get overwhelmed. So when I get to that point, you know, I, I, I don't know how to put it, but I'm very keen to know when I'm being disturbed, you, know, you, you just know that there's something wrong, you have a bad mood. So I pin it down to what could have made me feel that way. Right. Said, oh, it's the money. <laughs> so You're very self aware. That's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. So <coughs> I get to that, to the root of that thing. And then now I, in, with, when I get to that, I know a solution and I know what not to do next time. And then I let this off. It helps me somehow, one way or the other. Right. And then if things are overwhelming, I only take all, I, I write them down. I need to do this, I need to do this. So I've not been able to do that, but let me start with this too. So that I can finish up with those and I take them off and it gives me a fulfillment and I know that I'll get to the others at right. some point in time. As long as I have some sort of organization, I'm able to manage my thing and the, the things that are out of my control, maybe something that has happened, I leave it to God, honestly. For right. me, um, when I, I go with the word, um, if you worry, what will happen? So don't right. worry. Let, yeah. let go and let go. Let God. Wow. That, that's just how I get Wow, can, powerful. I can, I be, can I add on what she said? I, I really, do. really like Stephanie's train of thought. Jana Kulikwa me personally, and I was talking to her, and the way she handled it, I was like, "You're an adult." <laughs> yeah. I, I like it. <laughs> I really right. do. You, you, you have such a very interesting way of of looking at life, and no. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Wow. Uh, thank you for for that. <laughs> And yeah. you want but me to answer your question? Look at Sakwa putting <laughs> me on the spot again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's it's fine. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay, for me, it's a, it's a bit heavier because uh, for a long time I've been pretending that I am okay. And I have been an entertainment host for a very long time. So my job description, literally, I have to be happy all the time, whether Enjoy. I want to or not. Mm. Hey, whether I want to or not. So I've been kind of winging it with this mental health thing but just uh, recently last year I, I got a mentor yeah. so what has what that has done to me is she asked me very specific questions that that make me reach into myself i'm like eh, 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 why do i behave like this mm -hmm. and as a result follow me on youtube at kalomiva oh, so yeah. i've been i've been able to now make videos on on the same Right. So, yeah, I, I still do see my mentor, but these videos is a, is a very big form of release. I find yeah. that even when I talk about things that have disturbed me in my childhood, they solve a lot of issues in my present. Wow. Mm -hmm. Simply uh -huh. just talking about something that happened X in years ago. Yes. Yeah. yes. Wow. And it's funny how, you know, um, people don't know this, but 
your childhood traumas can really affect your right. future self unless you exactly. come and deal with them right. then it's you carry the burdens that you had from that point in time. And I'm so proud of you, Val. Oh, I watch that channel yeah. and it's just amazing. You know, it takes courage and you're inspiring people out there. Someone going through sure. the same, they're learning from you. And uh, yeah, Thank so you. keep on Sam, doing that. Sam, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Like I was looking at it and I'm like, how many people would uh, have the courage to like sit down and uh, like uh, take a look at their past life with the flaws, the mistakes they made. And you know, this mm -hmm. also comes with a lot of fears. Mm -hmm. It comes with a lot of uncertainty and a place of shame and guilt, mm -hmm. which I feel like almost every one of us has passed through a place where you, you feel that you're doubting yourself, you don't believe in yourself, mm -hmm. or maybe there's people who don't believe in yourself. So it's like you're caught up between yourself and yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yes. you, you have either to like support yourself to uh -huh. believe in yourself or just go like f uh, mm -hmm. fall down. But. Uh, it, it's so amazing how you did it. S something else that has attributed to it is I, I took a course on self-awareness. It was a crash mm. course. It took me a couple of weeks. But again, it was, it was very, very Logical. intense and intentional. Yes. Okay. Right. Well. Uh, and knowledge is power, by the way. True. No one can right. take it away from you. Yeah. Right. True. True. Mm. true. And, and it has reminded me, yesterday I had a friend of mine. I think I had mentioned this. Like, we usually have... Uh, like um, I say, most of us who are in radio or in TV, we usually like have like, a meetup sometimes where, especially online, or maybe on a Google Hangout or a Zoom or WhatsApp group call, where we vent. Like today, it's Sako venting about how he was disappointed, how he felt like he was fairly treated. I'm aware how some things are not going on the way he has envisioned to. I'm aware your failures. You know, sometimes you feel like you have failed. Mm -hmm. But then you're feeling like that, but there's a lot of people who are looking at you from a point like, you have everything like, that wow, I want. Yes. Why are you Dang. feeling like this? Come on. Yes. <laughs> So we usually have that committing and we gas ourselves up. The next day you come to work or you pull up in the next event and mm. you're all positive. All but uh, last night you guys were crying together on a WhatsApp group call. So well. <laughs> that's like our, <laughs> our venting outlet. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so I feel like it's, it's, an amazing, it's an amazing thing to have a community of young people who just like mm. meet and share their mistakes. Uh, share where you feel inadequate. You'll be like, I, but but you you're okay. Why are you feeling like this? You know, a lot of people admire to do what you're doing, but they will never even get there. So don't. Some they say sometimes you you don't know what you have until it's gone. Like mm -hmm. realizing even your self worth and how you mean it to yourself and other people. It's it's a very powerful thing. Mm -hmm. Is that is that how you cope? Mm -hmm. Sorry, with mental. That how you. Yeah, stay I, I think that's how I cope. Uh, we oh. usually have that venting venting session mm. on WhatsApp. <laughs> like today, it's another friend. The next day, is someone. The next day, is another friend. And it's here, my boy is to mm. It's it's oh, open to. Lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so okay. we vent. Like when I see a perspective of them, when I see a perspective of Charlie, Adi, and it feels like a. Uh, how long it, does that go for? It goes for as long as your anger stays. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so stay there, right, right, your anger. <laughs> So there's a time we even talked up to around 4 a.m. Wow. Yeah. My goodness. So that, this, that's Where? how we how event. Okay. <laughs> and it's working. You, we need to have also one. <laughs> I feel like journalists need to have that mental health um, mm -hmm. uh, portal. When you, when you feel depressed, angry, disappointed, go there, seek services, and mm -hmm. you'll be yeah. just okay. Hey, I honestly think this. It's like a support group. It's really yeah. important to have people that you can go to and talk, you know, even as Sakwa said, for on air personalities or celebrities, you know, because there's a standard where society has placed you. Now, what, yeah, and you can't, you always equal Nashida. What do you mean? <laughs> so, so, you get people to understand you where you can talk and you can share your frustrations and share your failures because no one is perfect and you know um when you feel that you need to be perfect i think that's the point where things don't really work out and you feel imperfect but people still think you're perfect because we all have our flaws mm -hmm. and we all go through bad times but you know when the society expects you to be okay every time you're human you can so i mean it's very important to have those support groups for me even um uh, apart from media and everything 
even in sessions where youth groups in church, you know, where we meet, uh, how was your week? So hapo una rusha kila You might not get, get into details, but at least you've shared. Mm -hmm. And really, sharing is a problem. Shared is half solved, yeah. one or the exactly. other. Exactly. I, I, I agree. Talking about renting, I was thinking that, yes. Mm. Right. You said it, it's halfway gone. It's but yeah. I also suggest you do it in a safe space. In the right, with the right friends, people. Uh, mm. Make sure, because not everyone will understand you. True. And not everyone will be very receptive. Yeah. He, he, he might be talking about his frustrations, but there's someone thinking, why are you complaining? You have everything. Yeah. So that right. might feel like a slap in the face to them. Mm -hmm. Like, you're perfect. Why are you... Do you that know people are more like to be, yeah, eh. yeah. 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 So yeah. make sure you do it in a safe environment, a mature right. and safe environment. True. And sometimes you might be turning out to, to, let's say, to work or doing projects out there and... Uh, you Kumba, you're operating in numb mode. Uh, mm. There's a friend who was saying that sometimes, like, you've blocked out everything. Like, uh, it's like you have a filter. When somebody triggers you, just a dot, you can explode and share all the worst words. <laughs> <laughs> so it's called a trigger. So you're operating in numb mode where you're not expressing how sad, happy, or uh, um, let's say uh, how broken you are. So you're just, you're just holding on. But when you meet an incident that just pokes just a little bit, it's a whole bust. Mm -hmm, yeah. you know, so it, it's okay to like find an outlet of expressing ourselves. Even men, you know, men mm -hmm. rarely talk. Especially <laughs> men. Especially men. Yeah. And it's interesting that my next guest, the next guest, the first guest that we're going to have on health, yeah. I will be talking about his journey with depression and he's a man and his recovery uh, journey. How did he come about? How did he speak up? You know, what did that do to him, especially being a man, you know, and right. we want to I'm really curious to to find that out. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a good conversation. Right. There's this there's this uh, New York best-selling author named Ian Lavazant. She was uh, Oprah's best friend. I think she's still Oprah's best friend. Yeah, she had a show called Fix My Life where uh, they used to invite black Americans who come from broken homes, especially where mm -hmm. the dad was absent or the dad was abusive or the mom died a little bit early. So the kids had to resort to some other things. The show is called Fix My Life. I think it ended in the early 2000s. So there's a place where she says, she tells, uh, uh, um, uh, she tells this young man, if you only master how to express yourself and be understood as a black man, then you'll win in all avenues of life. Because most of us men, we are told to operate under a certain filter where you're not supposed to show whether you're disappointed, you're not supposed to express whether you're being pinched, you're not supposed to show that you're feeling vulnerable, like maintain that strength. Kakama uh, manome. Yeah. Exactly, like Kaivo, so that when you die, you just die. Yeah. Uh, whatever will happen, let it happen. So I think we live in a world where we need to tell, like if you're feeling bad, say I'm feeling bad. Mm. I'm, I'm feeling not okay, please understand so that yeah. next time you don't pull up with a gun and just shoot people and not mm -hmm. tell them why am i shooting and you? then you're <laughs> no, yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> so <I> please okay. <laughs> please let's find a way of expressing ourselves yes steph okay Before. no it's how you've said it that the next time you're pulling up with yeah, a gun and, and shooting people and without telling them why you're yeah, <laughs> so it's okay yeah. to shoot them if you but tell them <laughs> You this know, is why. You know, they say, uh, <laughs> what, what led you to beat this person up? They're like, I beat them up because they killed somebody. But you don't just beat people up. You know, you don't have a right to beat people up. But anyway, still okay. on the beating up, before we get into uh, a little uh, game, just shortly, yeah. there's uh, this uh, singer-songwriter, Najita Brandy Minor, who put out a tweet yesterday. She said that unless it's Nyashinsky, Kinoti and Watendawili or Femi One or furthermore, she's not going to do any collabos this year. And she also said, leave me out of interviews as well. I'm not doing any for any station. And then uh, one of the pastors responded, that's a misleading attitude familiar to most of us. And now this is how one needs proper supervision. And that is your downfall. I'm like, wow. <laughs> that's extreme. That's downfall. Gosh. Wow. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> But I did see the media part. I did, I, the, she does not want to do any media any tours. interviews. I, I'm like, who had her? Like, she just doesn't. Is, is it? What kind of choice? Yeah. What, 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 led what happened that led to this particular choice? Uh, I can only imagine. I don't you know. know, because even with the collab, maybe for media interviews, but collabs, what happened? Kuna watu wame disappoint with the collabo. She says uh, she says she only has specific people. Nyashinsky and the Watenda Wheel. Femi one. Yeah. Yani yeah. gods who are industry peke. Well. Well. <laughs> eh. <laughs> 
crazy. <laughs> we, we can't read PSC Kuvika your level where we say we can't attend events that don't have Beyonce and uh, Kanye uh, West. Uh, we uh, can't uh, wait. We can't wait uh, as well. Uh, uh. <laughs> Taco is speaking for himself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I can only imagine how my red card uh, would be. Like, uh -huh. I, I only attend events where there's Asha Raymond, Beyonce, Aish. there's Mbappe, there's Cristiano, mm. there's the big Kanye. guys. Like, only the leads of that industry. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you'll be on a, on a, on a, a million dollar paycheck. As we finish up, uh, mm -hmm. let me just juggle your mind a little bit. I want you guys to spell this for me. So uh, I'll try it with Val and then Steph, you can pick it up. Okay. I must love you how you fight. Steph, Steph no. you'll pick it up. Oh, you're say next time in a cup. <laughs> we have Val, that. stop running away. Stop running away. The first <laughs> word is couture. Couture. I think it's pronounced Why? couture. Why? Do you want to embarrass me on TV? <laughs> no way. You, <laughs> you guys are broadcast journalists. <laughs> You guys are journalists. You are meant for this. You are meant for this. Couture. <laughs> couture. Couture or couture? Let me try. What do you mean? Uh, I usually do Nigeria spell like if you say, probably I won't get it, but let me see. Okay, just uh, try to, pro to picture it in your, in any other. Couture. Okay, C O C O U T U R E. Ah, you got it. Ah, you got hey. it. Nice. You got it. Uh, <laughs> oh, my partner A. I put my partner A. Aha. Uh, the, uh -huh. le, let me try. The, the next two are very hard. Let me give Val an easy one. Bureau. Ah. Bureau. <laughs> like a company or a research institution. That's not fair. Bureau, or have to, have Kenya to Bureau of Standards. Times. No, because it has many vowels. <laughs> it, it's a short word. In fact, it's shorter than couture. Huh. It has many vowels. <laughs> next. <laughs> the next ones are very hard. You will cry. They are extremely difficult. Abu, tell me that one more. Um, a, so I can a, a, choose. A city in the U.S., Mississippi. M I S S I S S I P P I. Nope. Mississippi. M I S S I S S I P P I. Ah, you got it. Thank you. M I <laughs> that was fast. Yes. Yeah. Ah, ah. Okay. Um, another word is to Steph, and then and the next I one is to Val. Nonchalant. Nonchalant. Why are you giving her easy ones? Easy. Nonchalant. Let's do it easy. It has to be nonchalant. Nonchalant is, a, is a, it's an adjective that means being calm, having a calm personality, calm and collected. Nonchalant. Yeah. Yeah, nonchalant. That, I'm hearing that for the first time. Yeah. Um, okay. If I wrong that, I'll spell bureau. Nonchalant. <laughs> N-O uh, N non C-H uh, e L A N T. Wrong? Nope. I thought again, try again. <laughs> let me nonchalant. Ah, uh, no, it's not. Nonchalant. Try non again, try again. You almost got it. Nonchalant. Yeah. Nonchalant. No, I'm Being calm okay, with an E. Have a nope. Okay. Again, try again, try again. Nonchalant. I nonchalant. can't embarrass myself past that. <laughs> Forgot you almost limit. got it, Steph. Imagine it's such an easy one. Try, <gasps> try, try one more time. Yeah, please, retake it. With that? Everything else was fine. Yeah, if, if we try again, try again. Without the E? Yeah, remove an E, nonchalant. N-O-N-C-H-L-A-N-T. No, nope, you've, you've, skipped a, you've skipped like a letter in between. Ta. Again, nonchalant. Nonchalant. Yeah, nonchalant. Oh, okay. N O N C H R A L A N T. Ah, nice. Because I know I wronged it. I had nonchalant, not nonchalant. It's accent. Yeah. So it's the accent. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm smart. It's just Sakwa's accent. <laughs> yeah. Nonchalant. Okay. Uh, well, the last one is for Val. Asinine. Chloe Kardashian <laughs> uses this word a lot, and those this are those this are journalists from a certain folk station who criticized Kenya last year, and she used this I word. Know. You're Asinine. Just laughing at me even before I start. So you, Asinine. You're, no, you're not being fair. Asinine right? meaning foolish, stupid, and not and not smart. Hey. Asinine thing. This is the most asinine thing I've heard. Asinine. Yeah, asinine. I don't think Asi I'm gonna get it. Asinine. Yeah. It's it's just the way it is. A R. Eh. R. Mm -hmm. S. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at his face. And the and the and the and the N. Uh huh. I say nine. I N E. Nope. If you only remove, if you only removed the R. Oh. A A A S. 
Arsenine. A A S E N I N E. No, it, it's I. Where A S I. The I nine, the word nine. Oh, Arsenine. Arsenine. Okay, all right. Most foolish. We've learned something thing. today. Oh my goodness. Wow. English. On Monday, Two new making, words. We're making Zakwa <laughs> spell something. <laughs> oh my Last goodness. You guys Monday. <laughs> the, 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 Toughest word in the dictionary. Two net up in your head to do Ourselves, we can't spell you it. You guys will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so, the word is Bureau Nonchalant Asinine Mississippi. You guys got it. Apart from the Asinine, but you guys did well. Congratulations. Don't know why you're That's why you guys are journalists. <laughs> and thank you. Oh. And thank you so much. Uh, but uh, I'll say your social media handles and uh, talk about your, your segments before we take a break. Uh, we we'll start okay. with Steph. All right, so uh, next coming on will be health, and we're going to talk about overcoming depression from, uh, you know, from a personal experience with the guest. He's going to tell us about his journey through uh, depression and how he, he was able to get past it. So it's going to be a very interesting discussion, having that he is a man and, you know, how the society treats men um, in regards to how they handle depression. So stay tuned for that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, it will be in <coughs> highlighting on identifying talent and inspiring passion. I had something, two things I really like, yes. It's mm. Small, small secret. When I was an entertainment host at a particular show, I'd make sure my weekends, I, I go scout for talent. Like, I'd go look for guests, wow. underdogs, not the ones who are known. Know. Yes, yes, wow. those are my favorite kind, so I can't wait for this particular interview. I think I'd wait as well to uh, meet your guests as well. On my segment, uh, during the tail end of the broadcast, we'll be talking about comedy. How do you incorporate food? and uh, bring, it, bring it out in a very comical way. There used to be this program that featured Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart, mm -hmm. uh, where they, they're on a set, they're cooking, but cracking crazy jokes. Mm -hmm. So the next guest that we'll be having towards the tail end of the broadcast will actually be telling us how she uses food to make other people happy in a comical and just a hilarious way. So you guys be ready for a fantastic food. segment mm. towards uh, that. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. food. Exactly. Ah, would be you know, interesting. I, I, I can't wait. I'm, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Same here. So, so at Kalami Val, at Stephanie Ayeta, at Brian Soko 101, at Y254 Channel, and the hashtag is still on in the morning. We take a break. We come back with much more. Stick around.